what's up y'all i'm just gonna get straight into this video so for this particular hairstyle i decided to use three bundles of 618 hair 22 24 and 26 this hair came with really really thick wefts and it also had a closure to come with it it was a six by six i believe and it was also 20 inches as you can see the lace is transparent so i will have to customize that a little bit later on in the video so before i started coloring i made sure that i sprayed the got to be glue all over the closer just so i don't get any type of dye on it because that will basically mess it up so i decided to use some adore and a little bit of the kiss colors you guys can see i use sapphire a little bit of purple rage because i want it to be more of a custom color and i felt like that will give it a different look make sure that i always test it on a paper towel to see how it would look once i apply it to the hair and i decided that it wasn't bold enough for me so i added a little bit more of the color and as you can see it's a little bit more bold and a brighter blue so as you can see here i'm just applying it to the closure nothing special um it may look like of course it's sped up but i promise you i'm not moving fast at all this probably took me a whole hour to cover this little tiny closure um i just really really wanted to make sure that i didn't get any dye on the lace that was my main concern so i just took tiny pieces and you know cover the hair it's pretty much self-explanatory like i don't you guys have seen me do this before on my i believe it was a colorful wig but yeah y'all see what i'm doing just placing the hair on there and taking section by section little by little and i'll come back when i am done covering the closure For the bundles, I decided to do the watercolor method. One, it's way easier. Two, it will just coat the hair and make sure that everything is the same color. So I felt like this was better for me. Of course, I use the same colors like I did on the closure. Put that in there with warm to hot water and then tested it on a paper towel, of course, making sure it was the color that I wanted. And basically just dip the hair in the water. I know y'all seen this method a million times, so I'm just really running through it. But in case you see any pieces of the hair that may still be blonde, just re-dip it back in the water. It only takes like 20 seconds, 30 max, but the color really takes on the hair quickly. So once you dip it, keep checking on it. Don't leave it in there too long because I actually did leave one of the bundles in there too long and it got way too dark. So try to not do that. And then basically I just repeated that on the rest of the bundles you'll see here. I know y'all remember this annoying lady from my last video. Yes, that is my mom. Um, this is my mom first time ever doing color in her hair like my mom is a simple blonde blonde head whatever y'all want to call it like she's mad boring but today for her anniversary we we had to switch it up you know what i'm saying so i suggested this blue and i'm surprised she actually agreed to it so as y'all probably have seen i use the 70 percent alcohol to wipe off her skin to get rid of any oils that may avoid the um, ghost bond from actually sticking to her forehead and then I applied the ghost bond on there I applied about two layers just to make sure that um, it lasts but don't last too too long because she might be taking this out soon and then I applied foundation on the lace like I said earlier it is transparent lace so you need to put some type of what do you have spray um, lace tint spray or foundation just to make sure it matches your skin tone and then I just applied it onto her forehead y'all know the drill like I mean 
come on now. I really don't got to explain it. I'm going to just let y'all watch and see how I did everything. I might be a little all over the place. Mind y'all, I'm not a hairstylist. I just do this on my own and sometimes with my mom or my sister. Besides that, I don't do hair, at least not as of yet. So if I'm all over the place, I'm sorry, but it was late. We looked tired. It was like 2 a.m. doing this. So I, I just hope y'all still like it. I'm so sorry that we're just all over the place, the camera all over the place. It's just, it's just a mess. This is also my first install video, like on someone else on my YouTube channel. So let me know what y'all think. I know I need to improve on a few things, like not getting in the way the whole video, but you know, I'm working on it. So I'm gonna just let y'all watch and y'all can basically learn that way. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below. And of course I will answer it that way. I decided to pop back in because I just feel like I'm gonna get a lot of comments about this part right here. I know, I know, y'all ain't gotta say it. You can see the lace, the lace is really, really light. It's not giving scalp right now. I get it, okay? But let me tell you, stick around to the end of the video and you'll see that I fixed it. So basically, what I did was I needed to hot comb the hair down. So I can actually see what I was working with. As you can see now, the hair is fixed. But all I did was spray some got to be spray on it again, just on the edges to really stick the hair down. And then I tied it for the duration of the hot combing process. Of course, I didn't show that. But that's exactly what I did. And it laid the hair down so good. As you guys can see, no filter, no nothing on it. So... I know it looked crazy in the beginning, but I fixed it. I would never let my mother go out bad like that, like, period. And if you don't like the baby hairs, you ain't got to do it. You ain't even got to wash this, like, simple as that. This is what we like, and this is what I'm going to continue to do on my hair. At the end of the day, we serving looks on your hands, all right? Real quick, y'all, don't ever use that edge booster. Honestly, I hate it. I keep telling y'all that, but I know I keep using it in my videos. Y'all probably like, why the hell you just don't switch out and use something else? Because I'm lazy, okay? I have the Care Care Wax Stick in one of my buckets from school, and I'm just too lazy to actually open it up and go get it. So I'm going to keep using it until I feel like I'm going to go do it. say I bodied this but it's a calm little flex okay like come on now I mean like y'all know the vibes y'all know the vibes on this side nah but for real though I don't really do heal on other people so this was different for me and I actually like doing it so if I start taking bookings later I'll let y'all know 
But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other colors y'all want me to try on my mother or on me. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Love y'all.